do is stay warm. Yeah. Like, when it's that cold, we're talking Minnesota cold, mm -hmm. you do what you got to do. We're not used to that kind of cold down here. <laughs> no. I mean, when it comes to this morning, it's cold enough to maybe need some earmuffs and a jacket, but we're actually significantly warmer than what we had yesterday, as most of us to the south still sitting above freezing. We have 20s and 30s up to the north, 38 degrees in Las Vegas, 23 in Grants, 27 in Albuquerque, 36 down there in TRC. Good morning, Hobbs. I haven't forgotten about you. 37 as you guys start the day. But look at the difference between right now and 24 hours ago. All the orange on the map indicating we are anywhere from 5 up to 25 degrees warmer to start our Friday compared to yesterday. Now, I do expect that trend to kind of flip around later today as we track a cold front coming in here. You're not going to find anything out there now. The Doppler radar showing clump clouds continuing to push off to our east. But the storm itself that we're looking at crossing to our north. Not a huge rain or snowmaker, anyways. I mean, Colorado Rockies getting some of this, but I don't expect us here in New Mexico to be looking at rain and snow. 46 by lunch, 51 is a forecast high. Factor in the wind, and it's not going to quite feel like 51 with that wind chill, but forecast high is a little weird today because they're cooler over the northwest and warmer over the southeast. We're talking 30s and 40s out over the northwestern corner. Compare that to 70 in Carlsbad today. So the cold front, I think, is going to have more of an impact over the four corners this afternoon, and it'll swing across the state today. But I expect central, southern, and southeastern New Mexico to feel more of a difference tomorrow. The winds will be today. That's one thing everybody's going to get with high wind warnings in effect for the northern mountains. Really, the Song of Crystal is looking at wind gusts up to about 60 miles per hour. And then we have that wind advisory in effect from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., wind gusts about 50. As far as the setup goes, though, once that cold front clears, we've got nothing. It's just a cool northwesterly flow tomorrow. Dry conditions, lots of sunshine. Sunday, high pressure gets in here. We're sunny and just really nice, to be honest. To finish the weekend, we're talking highs in the 50s, light winds, mostly sunny conditions. I mean, there's no weather problems whatsoever as we finish the weekend and start next week. Those numbers look real good as we finish up the month of January at that. Southern Colorado, mostly partly sunny today. You are my only hope of squeezing out maybe a little bit of light rain and snow in the northern portions of Montezuma and La Plata County. But again, most of this stays to the north of you. Northwest, mostly sunny and breezy. 43 in Farmington, 44 in Grants today, 39 Cuba. We will be looking at similar temperatures tomorrow. The southwestern corner will see a mostly sunny sky with 40s in Camado, 57 in Silver City, 60 is out there in Lordsburg and Deming. Southeast, 64 in Roswell, 68 in Artesia, low 70s in Carlsbad. Again, because of the timing, tomorrow is going to be the cooler day for you with Roswell down by 10 degrees. Then we'll warm up Sunday into Monday. Northeast, very windy. We talked about the wind alerts we have in effect here. Highs in the 40s and 50s today, similar temperatures tomorrow, warmer by Sunday. Northern Mountains, extreme wind. I do expect some of the strongest winds to be in your area this morning. High temps in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. East Mountains, mostly sunny conditions with strong winds too. Highs in the low to upper 40s today. Our 50s get back in here by Sunday. And the Metro looking at a mostly sunny sky. Highs in the upper 40s in Rio Rancho, 52 degrees downtown, 53 in Los Lunas. As far as what's going on with the seven day forecast, breezy to windy conditions today. Sunny skies from Saturday through Thursday of next week. And high temperatures climbing back towards about 60 Monday afternoon. And don't forget, January 31st, our super blue blood moon. At this point, I'm seeing perfect visibility. So hopefully we can keep that way. It'd be nice to kind of see that lunar eclipse. I know. Hopefully Mother Nature doesn't throw a wrench in our plans. I know. We'll get that one cloud that sits over the moon on <laughs> the <laughs> morning of the 31st. You'll see the top little smidge. Right. But that will be its pre dawn January 31st in the morning, so we will be covering that for you. Oh, yeah. I believe that's Wednesday. It is, yeah. We're Wednesday. hoping to have at least a live look from uh, a location here in town. So yeah. Stick we at least got a that. camera up on top of the roof we that sure we can do. point we, at it. We got to get it <laughs> yeah. to you somehow. Forget the telescopes. <laughs> whoop, right there on the roof cam. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks so much.